this is Dr. Vinay. I'm a hepatologist from Narayana Health. Today I'll be talking about a small topic which is quite common and sometimes the patients may not know that they might be harboring this virus infection. The topic which I'll be talking about is Hepatitis E. Hepatitis E is a virus infection which usually affects our liver. Now liver is in our right side upper uh, part of abdomen and usually Hepatitis E once it infects the liver can present as fever, malaise, fatigue. They also present with jaundice. In some may develop a problem which is called as liver failure. Now the percentage of the patients who develop liver failure is quite less. Less than 1% might develop who has Hepatitis E infection. The problem would arise once if there is an infection in a pregnant woman. The chance of liver failure is quite high among them. Now Hepatitis C, how it spreads and where it comes. Usually Hepatitis C is a virus infection which is get transmitted by a food borne or water borne uh, manner. Now usually a contaminated water or contaminated food which contains this virus infection can enter into our body and enter into our blood and thus infecting our liver. Usually the patients will develop fever as I said, they also develop jaundice, malaise and weakness and with these symptoms usually uh, when approached they can be safely diagnosed when we order for viral tests which is nothing but ordering the antibody against this virus infection. If the virus is positive you need not worry because this usually hepatitis E is a, a infection which can subsides itself. It just needs some palliative care or symptomatic care so that the virus level as it comes down, the jaundice levels also comes uh, down and the patient's health condition improves. But if the patient is having severe vomiting, nausea, unable to take food, one has to approach the doctor and may require hospitalization for further treatment. The treatment again consists of mainly symptomatic treatment so that we give time and energy to the liver to improve on itself. So in a gist, hepatitis E infection is one of the quite common infection especially in young adults and children who have food outside um, with contaminated water if they take in they might get infected and cause this simple problem of jaundice. Now one has to be careful when there is abnormality with jaundice. If they develop any difficulty in taking food or they become drowsy, the chance of get, progressing into liver failure is high and those patients should be carefully monitored in a hospital setup and can approach a hepatologist or a gastroenterologist for further care. So I conclude that one should not worrying about hepatitis C unless until they have uh, problems with eating or uh, sensorium as I said. So just taking a simple precautions and symptomatic treatment can be uh, a long way for, for preventing the disease as well as preventing the complications. So have a safe life, safe liver and safe and healthy life in the future. Thank you.